I just uh, finished a movie about i3 status bar. So this thing here down there is uh, changed and, and managed and can be uh, changed again. This was red previously, now it's no more. So let's go to this little code. We haven't talked about that. Best thing to do if you installed everything is change stuff around. So this one, you can change it to FF, FF, FF. If you remember correctly, if everything is on, then it's white and everything is off zero 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 then it's black and everything in between so we have to control s as a safe and here we have a next screen we can change the next screen we can change the round by using our mod key so i'm pressing windows mouse and i take it around that's interesting to me to, to explain and uh, well we cancel it another tip if you are not on workspace 2 and the sublime text is on another workspace the message from the nagging screen will pop up on workspace 2 so you say wow i can't type anymore in sublime everything crashed no the pop-up screen came in workspace 2 i speak from experience so we have this here we want to talk about this we in another movie we explained about all of this and uh, we show you also the normal kind of look because this is my personal preferences and uh, we're gonna see what this is so Control s and then windows shift reload r and here you go so apparently everything is here now white so this is the thing i've changed you see it could be nice if only I could make also these letters here uh, black again, then it would be great. So every one of these items can be changed. So Control Z, Control S, Windows Shift R. Everything is back normal. And the thing you do, I suggest you do, is change colors and make them apparent, like for instance FF. 0, 0, 0, 0, meaning red, green, blue, all red, save, windows, shift, R, and then you see, ah, it's those little elements here that I change, only the lines, that's all it is, and that's what they call a separator, mm -hmm. fine, control Z, control S, windows, shift, R, back to the normal thing, and you can go on like this so the elements are here border background let's change the background again ff 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 it's going to be white so this element you don't need to learn it by heart so anything that is focused is going to be white actually not bad i might keep it so maybe a bit too white that's that's the preference you know and the text color if you don't like the text color you want to have it red fine no problem just do it reload but make sure that it's beautiful as you can see it's not that difficult it's straightforward the only thing you should know is some hexadecimal color codes this is the border haven't changed that yet and then the background, the text. So let's change the border too, so we can wrap up this movie. Control S, Windows Shift R. And there you go. Now we have this kind of look. And it's your machine, so you can choose whatever it looks like. You can change all of these colors. It's a focused workspace, so the thing we're on, active workspace, inactive workspace and urgent workspace that's like um, something happened the program is finished or something like that and he wants to send us a message hey something something's happened here on this workspace and i'll uh, change the colors there okay so have fun changing your colors and making it your own